Hello and welcome to the Cyber One YouTube channel. My name is Ray and in this video we're going to start working on a new base for Fred's head. In the last video I made, I ran into the problem with the base I made not being quite big enough um, as far as wide or deep for that matter and not having provision for the side roll of the head servos to be mounted. Uh, this is problematic when you start making the head move because it falls over. And the last thing we want is the robot head rolling off the desk. So I'm working on a new base and I'm trying to come up with a design and it occurs to me that there's been one made already and that was created by Gail Langdon as part of the Inmove robot. So these images are from the inmove.fr website and it shows the construction of the torso section with the neck attached. This is actually the version 1 neck. Some of the version numbers are now out of date because they've been updated with newer parts. So that's a front view. There's our back view. So what we're going to do is print off this top row of parts, including uh, the neck holder and, and throat hole, and assemble that together. So let's start assembly.
Okay, so I've got Fred's head on the shoulders and I've got the motors. I've tested the servos using my remote control system, which I've now packed away. And I got roll and pitch on the head. And that seems to work quite well. The only problem I've got is when sitting on this base, it's still not very stable. So I think I need more base. So I'm going to print out the next level. I have found a, a set of STL files on Thingiverse for a bust stand that fits on the bottom of the next layer of chest and back piece chassis pieces. So I'm going to print those out, assemble them and put that together. So I think I might do that on next week's video. If you like this series, uh, please click on the like. Uh, don't forget to subscribe. That helps out my channel quite a lot. And we'll see you on the next video.